Hi, it's me, Errol Lawson, and um, yeah, good morning to you. We're here in Paris. Um, we're about to shortly depart from the hotel, having breakfast here with the lovely Zadi Diaz. And it is breakfast time, but we're still having great conversation. And um, just thought I'd we'll take the opportunity, really, to kind of give Zadi the, or give you the honor and me the honor, the privilege to hear from Zadi just some of her thoughts about social media and about blogging and those kinds of things. So here we go then, Zadi. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? I'm good. Cool. Waking up. We still have strikers <laughs> from the uh, events. Yeah, man. So we were just chatting this morning just now about blogs and, mm -hmm. and especially the young people as well, or those who are new to the whole social media scene, like what blogs are, how to start one, how to get people to read them, and things like that. So yeah, your thoughts. I mean, it's, it's one of those things where I, I think a lot of people get intimidated, you know, they're just like, where do I start? What do I do? Who's going to read? What do I have to write? Is it important enough? Um, but I think there's so many services out there right now that, and so, many in, so much information that helps you um, learn how to kind of take those first steps. So for instance, Getting a blog open, there's some things like WordPress, which is great, but there's also Tumblr, which is another one, T-U-M-B-L-R.com, no E, and it's a very easy way to kind of just get something up and going right away, and I think that's an important thing um, to start with, because you don't have to think too much about doing it, it's just literally putting an account name, opening it up, and starting to kind of see there's a community behind it um, and then you start seeing what other people are blogging and you start reblogging and then you start kind of putting in your own you know thoughts on, on certain things and, and you don't have to you don't have to invest too much time you kind of get your feet wet a little bit and I think that's important so what, what is a blog and why blog a blog is you know short for web blog so it's kind of logging your thoughts logging your experiences logging any kind of information that's very important to you and it goes in a very kind of journalistic um, sense where it's by date so you can have an archive of all your different experiences for years and years um, and what's great about blogs is that you can do searches and you can tag and you can do kind of all these different things to categorize you know thoughts and, and ideas in different ways so What's great about them also is that people can subscribe to them. So it's almost like a magazine stand, right? So if I want to subscribe to the Errol Lawson magazine, right, I could go to your blog and there's a little icon where you put the address and it's called an RSS feed and that stands for Real Simple Syndication and you're syndicating, you're syndicating your ideas, you're syndicating your content, you're syndicating your information to the world. And so every time I click on that little bar or that little icon, I subscribe to your blog and I can put it into something called Google Reader. And Google Reader is like my mailbox, right? And so every time Errol posts something new, that instantly goes to my mailbox and I just open it up and read it. And so that's basically the process of, of distribution for blogs. You know, it's kind of like you just think of it as a magazine subscription. Um, and then, you know, you take the time to kind of just write, make your blog your kind of magazine. What kind of magazine are you creating? What's your cover, you know, every time you write a blog post? I think a lot of people are very visual, so what images are you gonna to put to entice them to read the rest of the article? Um, a lot of people write a lot, so breaking up paragraphs is very important because visually I think we get overstimulated if we see so much text that we're just like, I don't know if I'm gonna have time to read all of this. So breaking stuff up visually entices people to read more. Um, making sure that you're illustrating what you're saying, making it into a story and making it personal. And I think that's what's most important with blogs is that people really wanna get a sense of who's behind these words. You know, they wanna get a sense of the person. I would wanna get a sense of Errol, you know. And so writing statistics and research is great. Um, and I encourage that. And if that's all you want to do, that's fine. That's fine. Some people, you know, that's all they want to search for. But there's, I find that the more popular blogs or the more the ones that are more read tend to have a little bit of personality, a little bit of kind of sense of who the writer is, you know, editorializing your your words and kind of like that magazine style or you know format. Um, and it's different for journalists, you know, if you want to kind of go more for, into the journalistic route. 
and you want to be more balanced, it's another kind of sense. But I think finding your voice is just the first step. And the only way you're going to find your voice is if you just start doing it the simplest way possible. Get your feet wet, open up a simple blog, and just start, you know, start typing. <laughs> Fantastic. That is brilliant. Zadi, that's great. Wow. <laughs> wow. Like, I've just been educated on <laughs> blogging and what blogging is about. Um, is there a key blog fact that you think someone should know? Just the, the most important key thing about getting people to read your blog, what would it be? I think the most important thing to get reading people reading your blog is to make sure that you have some sort of ecosystem for your blog. Um, it's not, you know, you're just putting it out there, but how are people going to find out? that you're writing all of this amazing, amazing stuff. So using social networks like Twitter and Facebook are important to drive people back to your website, to your blog, giving them a reason to go back. So if I'm, if I'm, if I'm on Twitter and I'm saying, check out my blog, check out this, you know, this amazing post that I wrote on coffee, doesn't really, <laughs> okay, maybe if I really love coffee, I'll go and check out your blog and read it if I have time. But enticing people to have a reason why to go. So if I say, um, you know, wrote an interesting blog about the effects on coffee on 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 health. Um, what do you think? Because I'm curious. Like posing a question out there right, right. for people to kind of start the conversation and not right. just pushing information out there. Right, right, right. So keying into very specific things about what you're blogging about, not making it so general that it loses meaning. I like it. How do people? How do you get people? How do you make it possible for people to respond then in the conversation or to take part in that conversation? So making sure that within your blog you have a comment section that people right. can you know make sure that they comment right. and you can have power over that in terms of moderation. Yeah, yeah. You know, some people are not comfortable with everybody just commenting because sometimes you do get spammers and yeah. you get trolls and you get right. people you know being a little negative. So you have to be aware of what you're going to be comfortable with and, and the feedback that you're going to get from people. So making yeah. sure that you have a comment section, yeah. making sure that you have um, your kind of Twitter conversation, whether it's you know related to hashtags around a certain subject. So hashtag is pound yeah. uh, coffee with Zadi or something like that. Yeah. Um, and asking questions. Um, I find that also on Twitter, if you're promoting um, something, um, promote it in a way, like I said, that's more conversational, asking questions, getting people engaged, right, and right. then not just doing it once, but doing it, you know, you know, a few times throughout the dates in different ways, yeah, yeah, and yeah. tapping into the different parts of the conversation that maybe other people would be interested in because yeah. you can't cover it all in <laughs> and all in um, you can't cover it all in one tweet, or you can't cover okay. it all in one sentence. So awesome. what you know, one article, one tweet may be about coffee and the health benefits. The other one would be about how it wakes you up in the morning. It's all in the same article, but there are different parts of that article that you want to highlight. Awesome, Sadi, thank you. <laughs> all right, speak to you later. All right.